one. I think she's only 21 years old. And she was, is engaged to be married. Um, and her and the boyfriend went on a trip, like, to, I guess, go in the van and travel to different places. And... Um, he ended up in Florida without her. And last time the parents heard from her, I believe, I thought it was July, but maybe it was August. And he won't answer any questions. Okay, he was with her. She's his fiance. And he won't answer any questions. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Here's it in a nutshell. He killed her. They had a fight. Uh, he killed her. And knows where her body is. Was thrown or whatever. And he went to Florida. And he's hiding out. And I don't know his uncle's house or grandparents' house. I don't know. Somewhere. They know where he is. And imagine that. He's not talking. I think he even has a lawyer. So... Um, I think Quantum Reality did a great video on her, um, but I ha I didn't do my cards, I didn't do the dowsing rods, because it's just too much. It's just too many people in my head, and I just can't take it. So, you know, I'm not even doing a cold read on it. I just said that. That was my feeling on it. Should it people just don't go missing and not call their parents anymore. And that's your fiance. You have nothing to say. So then, after I said that on somebody's live or somebody's channel, this is what who did it. End of story. He did it. He knows where the body is. End of story. You got to get him to talk. So then today, I'm watching the old tubes. Oh, look at they just did this house over. Watching the old tubes, and they have a, um, a story about, uh, they're showing footage of her and him. They got into some sort of altercation or fight on the road, and the cops were called. Okay. Now, granted, one of the cops... Um, we're saying that he called the cops, that she tried to hit him while he was driving, and then he called the cops on her, okay? But he wasn't going to press charges. And one cop was going, oh, she's really lucky that you're not going to press charges. So for one night, they let her stay in the van, and they put him up, the fiancé, up in the hotel. And then I guess they figured they got back together. All right, but where is she then? What happened? So he's not saying anything. So I still stand by it that uh, they had a fight and she was killed. Whether it was by accident or he pushed her or she fell, doesn't matter what it was. He didn't report it and he just slithered off, off to Florida. Okay, sorry if I'm slurring my words, but... It's not that easy to walk and talk. I know it probably looks easy, but it's not that easy to walk and talk. Anyhow. Um, so. Yeah, so the, I mean, that's what I think. I felt like that was my validation. After I said that, I was just using my third eye a tiny percent, but I didn't do a, an official read on her. Because I just can't do it. I can't take too much more. You know, so my guides tell me, back up. You know, start doing the signs more. Start doing the collective reads. People need you to do the collective reads. Um, even if you feel like they're not paying attention, just do it. And my vlogs. And my vlogs make me happy. Even if they don't make you happy, my vlogs make me happy. Because I kind of started out my... YouTube channel with just vlogging 
I didn't know I was gonna be able to do readings through the screen, okay? And all day long, and when I was doing Virgo, I was writing my notes out for Virgo. These are the names I'm hearing. I'm hearing Mary, I'm hearing Jamie, okay? So I don't know if there's a Mary and a Jamie and there's a John, but he spells his name, he might be a Jonathan, but the way he spells his name is J-O-N. Not J-O-H-N. J-O-N. He spells it. Okay, so I don't know if that means anything to anybody. Or I'm just hallucinating as usual, as per usual. And I never know where I park my car. So that just means I have to keep walking and talking. Anyhow, let me show you my neighborhood so I can catch my breath. beautiful right and see I'm not walking alone because I have all you guys all you people out there um okay so I wanted to say something about Grandis been thinking about her a lot lately and you know uh, my first reaction is that I'm angry because I feel like with the news story that came out, who knows if it's true or not, supposedly Allie's grandmother spoke to Grandis, you know, Candace's mother, Summer's grandmother, on the phone. And she said that, just like I said, Summer never made it home from the swimming hole and all those errands they did. Summer was supposedly taken ill, and she thought Candace was driving her to the hospital after she met Don. Okay, so when she came home, she went in her trailer to rest. So I'm sitting there trying to figure out how many hours those boys were alone. So why wouldn't she at least, I know she was tired and she went to the hospital and she was exhausted, but she didn't go check on those boys. Like those kids, they were alone for so many hours. Nobody cooking them anything to eat. I just feel so bad for those boys. That's why in my last video I said, please pray for them. You gotta pray for Summer, but you gotta pray for them too. Because they have a hard road in front of them. And they have a lot of memories that they're going to be dealing with. Okay, so my other thing is that when, when that whole story about the planting was bogus, me, not just me, said that. Never believed that story. I did many videos about if you had knee problems, why would you plant? Why would you be on your, even just standing there watching people plant? Because your leg is going to be killing you. Well, you just feel dizzy and you want to go lay down. Not go shopping to a million places. Anyhow. Or stand at a swimming hole. I don't know. The whole thing is weird. So, was there something in that uh, sun-kissed orange soda when... When Summer became thirsty and said she needed a drink, she went and took a sip. I don't know, maybe she didn't get the sip out, but she screamed, No, don't drink that. And she admitted to giving her a little bottle of water. Where did they get the bottle of water from? Anyhow, some people are claiming, allegedly, that there was something in that soda. Because if you put drugs in the soda... It breaks it up, makes it um, affect you faster. So that's all allegedly. Who knows if that's true. But there's one thing I do know. She didn't make it home. And I've always stood behind that. She left in the morning. And she, uh, she didn't make it home. She didn't come home. I'm going to turn around and walk down this block because there's those neighbor, neighbors that called the cops on me twice, maybe even three times. 
just for parking in my car, reading emails and doing vlogs, lighting up my Palisanto up in that bitch. Anyhow, so I don't know why I was thinking of Grandis, but I see her face. I don't want to see her face. I don't want to see Don's face. I don't want to see Candace's uh, drugged out face. But um, I say, you know, to my angels, why am I seeing Grandis's face? Like, what does it mean? What does it all mean? Um, so the only thing I hear is there is a clue that I'm not seeing in that. So I will meditate on that. If anybody else has any ideas, please put it in the comments below. I'm pointing below. Anyhow, this is 44 minutes? I've been walking for 40 freaking minutes? Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, no, no. I haven't been walking for 40 minutes because I did the video in the car. And this just adds to it. Oh, I've only been walking for 10 minutes. All right, so I'm just going to walk back and forth here. And that because I still have to go to the store and get a sandwich, something to make as a sandwich for lunch tomorrow. Because uh, I don't think I feel like having peanut butter and jelly. Not that that's bad, but usually if I have turkey or chicken, um, that will help me to last longer energy wise and my balance of nature still didn't come in so I'm out of that for two days now and I can feel my energy it goes so low then I get um a sore throat so the balance of nature helps me but they friggin always are late something happy and two and four two three and four. Boop. You see it? <laughs> see that chicken? We always have to say hi to that chicken. He's photobombing me right now. See? <laughs> I will never get... I will never understand the chicken. One time I went to ask, but the lady didn't look at me. She wouldn't look up. She was like putting something around the chicken's neck. Maybe it was around Christmas. And I went to ask. She saw me with my phone out and she didn't like it. You know, like people see me walking around with my phone. Why can't I just be talking to somebody, FaceTiming with somebody? Why have they got to think the worst? Not that the worst is vlogging, but I guess they just think it's weird. I don't think it's weird. I get to take a walk, get exercise, and still have some people with me. Because people said that they liked my walk and talks. And then I didn't do a lot of walk and talks for a long time. So I'm trying to give you what you wanted. I'm trying to give myself and my body what it needs. At the same time, give you guys what you wanted. But some people said that since I started doing walk and talks that they were going out more doing a walk because really you don't have to do like a friggin major hundred mile walk just go out every day or a couple times a week at least or like say I'm skipping the gym today but I'm going out for a walk so that counts everything counts anyhow I think I might just go around this block and then when I come around this block I have to go all the way around, then I'll be, I'll walk to my car and that'll, that'll be it. So, I'm just trying to think of anything else I forgot. Now I got a sticky in my shoe, because of course, I know, who's, who just said you're wearing the wrong shoes for walking? I know that, but I want to be free. And these are actually really comfortable, and they're good for flat feet, which I have fallen arches, flat feet. So, they're going to have to be good. And you know what another person I've been thinking of lately? I don't know why. Shnan. So I'm like, are you trying to tell me anything, Shanann? What are you trying to tell me, girl? I don't know why. 
she came in. But when she comes in, I have a good feeling. When Grandma Grandis came in, I was like, please, what are you doing in that space in my brain? You know, that's scary. Um, but the angels told me there's a clue. So I have to, I have to meditate on that. Definitely. There's a clue. Something about Grandis. Candace Hera. Candace Hera. Okay. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm not sure what to say, so I'll just put you, I'll let you see the beautiful scenery for a second. Look at this nice swing. Nobody's ever swinging in it, though. I noticed that. Yeah. On a good trip, lollipop, it's fine. Trip to the candy shop, the gum gums play. What can I have? I should just end this because I'm making a fool of myself, but... All right, yeah, so how many minutes? All right, 50 minutes, take away 20. I'm not sure how much that all adds up to because, you know, the math skills are not. That's my house over there. Don't try to dox me. Don't try to visit me. That really wasn't my house. I live a few blocks away. Anyway, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this so that I can watch something else on my way to the car. Because I think I said everything I thought about saying. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm going to have the energy to do my hair tonight. If I do, and I want to sit at the table and do some questions about summer or anything else. Um, let me know in the comments what you want me to ask my dowsing rods, okay? And I will ask them. And I will ask if Candace, Grandice, Candace Hera, um, Candace's mother, knows anything further. Which I know she does. If she didn't tell the truth about the, you know, the events of the 15th of June. Why wouldn't the police go after her too? Are there any police out there? Put it in the comments. Anybody in law enforcement or lawyers? Let me know, why wouldn't the police go after her? I guess because the phone call could be hearsay. The phone call wasn't from her. It was from Allison's grandmother, and that could be hearsay, I guess. I guess. It's really nice walking at night, because it's cooler, a little bit cooler. Sometimes it's hotter. Oh, I have a wedding on Saturday. I forgot. We have this, like, one friend um, that she, um, she actually came to New York with me. That's it, probably in the videos of the past, 2018, I think. She came to New York with me. But she's our dog groomer. And she had a baby boy, and she's pregnant with a baby girl. And she's getting married Saturday. So we're invited to the wedding. It's outside. And it's bring your own. So that's another reason why i got to get my wine. And I'm going to be bringing my own wine Devin really doesn't drink. Um, Devin was like, I'm not going to bring my own. That's, that's not a classy thing to do. I go, hell yeah. I'm bringing my own. I'm not sitting at a wedding without my drink. Without having a drink. It's going to be hot outside. So I'm going to need my wine. At first I was thinking of champagne. But it's not my wedding. so Champagne has to be like 
really, really special occasion because then that's all I'll drink. I need several bottles of Champagne, okay? I know that sounds like a real alky, but the way I do champagne is, like for my wedding, that's all I drank from, I would say, yeah, from 5 o'clock to 12 o'clock. And I was fine because I danced my ass off. Literally, I danced with my nephew, Shawnee. I danced with everybody. I was dancing so much, Devin was hiding from me. And the DJ guy, uh, DJ John, my friend's son, was our DJ. And he did a great job. And he kept on looking for Devin. Oh, another name. Another name I heard was Frank. But I don't, it was like there was another part to the name. So it might be Frank Lynn, and they call him Frank. Or it might be somebody's last name. But, yeah. So, remember, Mary, Jamie. I don't know if Jamie is a boy or a girl, because that could go both ways, um, that name. John, J-O-N, spell it. And Frank or Franklin. Okay, let me know. Here's my car. Here's my wheels. All right. Guys, why is this going on so long? I just have to stop the button. But yet I don't. Oh, another card I dropped. Sorry, Tina. <sighs> Gotta clean my car one of these days. Okay, so. Okay. All right, guys. Why am I doing all these long videos talking about nothing? Well, I did talk about a lot of things and got my exercise on. Okay, so guys, I love you very much. Hope to see you soon, or hope you see me soon. And then in, in that, I see you soon. And another shout out is for Forever Bella Butterfly. Are you okay? I haven't heard from you in a week or two, so I get worried. All right, let me know. I love everybody. Have a good night. Sorry about that burp. Namaste.